Yo, what's happening YouTube family? 2K Mechanic back with another build video for you guys. And today we're gonna be doing the Larry Bird build. Well, Larry Bird is gonna kind of be the mascot for the build, but we're gonna do a jack of all trades build. That's my first time ever doing a jack of all trades build. I think it's a solid build though. So you guys let me know. So first things first, I wanna say thank you to all the new subs and all the returning subs for commenting, watching and sharing the videos. It means a lot to me. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to give our channel a subscribe. I tend to post weekly on this channel now versus daily in the past. So feel free to look through our catalog and, and see what we have to offer. Uh, and go ahead and sub up. All right. Also, last thing, if you are looking for a community of like minded gamers, you can consider joining the discord in the description below and you know join up you know we got over 2,000 members in the discord is free uh we give build you know we go over builds we give people build advice everything 2k nba just sports related in general or gaming related in general we pretty pretty much go over it in, in, in that discord so join up on discord it is free once again uh, if you're looking for people to run with all right so i am on the xbox right now and i'm gonna show you guys how to make the build Right, all right, so I got my two-way thread here. This is my Zeke build, and that two-way shot created. It's a build I'm working on, probably for the 1v1 court. Um, but yeah, all right, so let's get into the build, y'all. All right, first name, last name, entirely up to you. Position we're gonna do this at small forward, handing this right or left, depending on your personal preference. And jersey number, I believe Larry Bird was 33. All right, so let's go ahead. All right, we're gonna glitch this build out like we've done in a previous build. And if you're familiar with the Jason Tatum build I dropped like a week and a half, two weeks ago, uh, we're gonna use that same method to kind of set this up, all right? So first thing, we're gonna go to 1.97M on the height. The weight, we're gonna take it all the way up to 113 kilograms. Wingspan, we're gonna take the 2.19 meters. And body shape, we're gonna put it burly. All right, then we're gonna max the stats out. Very similar to how you've seen other glitch builds done. And to be honest with y'all, I was thinking of maybe just skipping all these steps, but a lot of people, you know, this is for the people in the future, just that first time seeing and how to make, make glitch builds. Uh, so they prefer to see the whole process step by step. So, you know, I'll continue to do that for everybody. All right, we'll go back and edit the build. Oh yeah, if, if you didn't know, you gotta start off in metric system to get the 1.9 M meters, kilograms, and stuff like that versus the Imperial that is the, the US standard. All right, so then we're gonna go back into the settings and we're going to change the units of measuring back to Imperial. So there are a, quite a few steps in this process, y'all. So make sure uh, you follow along on the video and if you, don't have patience for whatever reason to follow along in the video then you can check the description on this video for the notes and then just copy and paste those to your phone and do it line by line that way so you don't get lost all right so we'll go up to six eight wait we're gonna keep the same wingspan we're gonna take up to seven six body shape doesn't matter at this point all right and we're gonna max this out again so this is the second step in this y'all i believe there are I think four or five steps in this in this particular method. I want to say it's four steps or five steps, five steps. All right. So we pretty much maxed everything out. We just finished the build. And we're gonna go back and edit the build once again. Like I said, this is the second step out of five. I'm gonna go back and switch to the metric system again from Imperial. All right, and we're gonna bring this, uh, I ain't got a Johnson in my face, hold up. Go back, come on, man. All right. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna bring this down to 1.97 once again. Keep the height and the weight, keep the weight the same. So to let you know if you're doing this right, you know, originally we started out with 2.19 meters max. Now we have 2.21 meters max, right? Body shape, we're gonna bring back the burly. 
Like I said, you want to follow the steps to the T so you don't make a mistake and have to redo everything and, you know, waste your time. Like I said, it takes, um, you know, about five to six minutes to kind of set everything up if you're doing it right. All right, so this is the uh, third step. So we're going to go back and edit again. And we're going to bring it to Imperial. All right, let's see, bring it into Imperial. How many people have gotten their mascot already? Which mascots are the, which mascots do you guys think are the best? All right, we're gonna go back here, we're gonna edit this. All right, so as you see now, black screen, black screen, cool. So as you can see now, instead of uh, six five, it is actually six six. This lets you know you've done it correctly. Um, so then we're gonna take this up to six. 10 we're gonna take this what we're gonna put this on compact and then we're gonna bring this all the way down at 197 pounds we span it should be seven eight then we're gonna max this out yeah how many people are how many people got their mascot already and which mascot did you get which mascots do you guys think are the best uh i've got i got harry the on, on ps5 i got harry the hawk i like harry the hawk um i think i'm like level 22 on on Xbox so we'll see what we get on Xbox all right so facilitate finisher all right so this is the fourth step in the build y'all and then the next part is you know you just go back here go back to settings uh, features settings and you put it on metric system so this is the last step y'all and then I'm gonna show you guys the build All right, so you bring this down to 2.05, right? Bring the weight down. Men, and remember, I, I showed you guys in this last video, right? If you bring it up here, you can bring it down to 85, but you need to bring it down to, tap it to the left one more time. One more time and it'll give you 80 speed, uh, 75, uh, 75 speed with ball, which is good to unlock quick dribble style right and whatever dribble style they come up with in the future they use a 75 speed with ball make sure you click it all the way down and when you get to 85 you know it's, it's it'll say um 79 speed click it over to the left one more time and it'll give you 80 speed and 75 speed with ball all right and for this build in particular we're going to take that wingspan down to two point uh 2.19 all right and this is pretty much how you want to set the build up and now i'm going to give you guys the attribute all right here we are uh this is the actual build 2.05 meters on the height 85 kilograms on the weight but this is probably really 84 might be glitched i'm not sure 2.19 on the wingspan body shape solid you know larry b wasn't cut up like that larry legend wasn't cut up like that so all right here's the build y'all 26 finishing 24 shooting 21 playmaking 21 defensive rebounding so let's look at the the finishing which is pretty op in my opinion right so 85 close shot you got fast twitch on hall of fame uh, 81 driving layup this will give you access to fearless finisher silver acrobat silver any layup package you want to unlock i'll tell you to use long athlete which is unlocked at 71 uh, driving dunk at 85, so you'll get all of the uh, contact dunk animations. Not all the contact dunks, all the pro contact dunk animations. Uh, 85, I think, gives you, it may give you elite alley -oop contact dunks. I believe so. All right, so that, that gives you 84. Uh, that gives you silver posterizer, right? Uh, you get grace under pressure on gold, limitless takeoff gold, uh, mouse and house gold. Live City Finisher Gold Slithery on Gold. Rise Up Silver because I gave you a 75 standing dunk, right? 75 standing dunk gives you Rise Up on Silver, which allows you to do activate more standing dunks underneath the rim. Post Control is at 81. This gives you Hall of Fame Drop Stepper. You get Back Down Punisher on Gold. Um, you know, pretty much everything you want to do inside the, peri inside the uh, perimeter area, you know, you can go crazy with it. You know, it's Larry. Larry can shoot mid-range. He can post up score at the rim you know you can score from anywhere all right so shooting got 80 mid-range you know larry mid-range a little bit be, will be a little bit higher so if you want to make his mid-range higher you could once you take this above i think like 82 
instead of giving the jack of all trades name it'll give you the shot creator name which is what larry pretty much was so if you want to take this up a little bit higher you can definitely do that you just the 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 build name would just change y'all all right 80 uh, 82 three point which is pretty good more than more than you know once you get an 80 80 you, you'll be sparking pretty consistently even if you know i have a 77 78 on a few of my builds you can shoot just fine but once you get that hit that <clears throat> 80 threshold um you know it, it, it will allow you to shoot a lot better right so 24 71 on the free throw which is more than enough right 71 70 to 75 i advocate to have at least up above a 60 if you want to shoot consistently especially in rick but if you plan to play pro am uh, you definitely want to get a, a 70 and above free throw all right playmaking 74 on the pass accuracy 80 on the ball handle 75 on the speed with ball so this will allow you to get the 80 um dribble 80 above 65 80 dribble moves right so that's probably your, your d mitchell and stuff like that so you'll be able to utilize those builds um i don't i think you need 85 to get the uh curry slide and stuff like that so you're gonna be able to get curry slide but that's fine speed with ball this allows you to unlock quick dribble style and any other dribble style that allows you to unlock it at 75 or higher uh, depending on your dribbles uh if you guys want to know how to you know do a 6-9 you know, good dribble moves for 6-9. I suggest you guys check out my man, J-Mac. Um, on YouTube, I'll post his picture up real quick somewhere on the screen. But yeah, check him out. He's probably one of the, uh, one of the premier people that utilize uh, a lot of 6-9, 6 builds, right? And he has a lot of experience with those. And he has a lot of dribble moves that he showcases to kind of help you guys, you know, go crazy out there. All right, so that's 21 playmaking badges. Let's look at the defense. So on the defense, we have 21 defensive badges. Uh, we got interior 72, perimeter defense is a 77, so that gives you clamps on silver. Steel is an 80 that unlocks uh, interceptor gold for only four instead of five. Block is an 84. Now you can, if you still want to keep the jack of all trades name, you can take this block up to an 88. An 88 unlocks um, re, re, uh, rim protector on gold uh you'll just have to um you know bring your speed down some bring your speed down to uh what else you probably have to bring your uh driving your standing dunk down i think to 71 or to 70 uh and that ship give you enough to there a few here let me see what else hmm I think that's it. I think that's all you have to do to get this to 88, right? It said 84 plus four more. Yeah, just drop this stuff down and it give you 88. You'll still be able to keep the Jack of All Trades name, um, but it'll just give you Rim Protector on, if you plan to use this at the four, you might want that Rim Protector on gold. So, you know, go ahead and do that if you feel like you need it on gold. Offensive rebound is a 51, defensive rebound is a 81, and that's just to unlock Rebound Chaser on silver. Um, let's see what else. But yeah, let me see. What's the max rebound you can get? 88. Um, you can take the weight up a little bit. I think if you take the weight up though, you're gonna lose that speed with ball. Uh it's depending on you. Like this, this is a very versatile build. Like six nines are the most versatile builds in the game. Right? Six eight, six nines are the most versatile builds in the game. So um if you wanna up your rebound, you have to up your weight a little bit and sacrifice on the speed with ball. Uh, your ball handling should remain the same, so it's entirely up to you. And really, you don't really need quick. You could do like C gray, fundamental, um, stuff like that, um, which is totally fine. With speed ball, if you want, if you want to increase um, your to get that 91 D board to make sure you get um, gold rebound chase. Sorry about that, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so speed is a 80, 76 on the vertical, strength is a 47, vertical is a 75. So make sure you can get all the pro contact dunks. And stamina is a 90. All right. So I went with a shot creator and spot up precision. You're able to get slash and take, shot creator take, sharp shooting take, and post scoring take on this build. But keep in mind if you take your um if you take your block all the way up, and then probably if you take your rebounding up, it's gonna give you probably a different name uh, and it'll take away the shot creator take and it'll just give you uh slashing sharpshooting rim protector and um, post scoring take 
All right. And I think if you get if, if you take that rebounding up, it may take away your sharpshooting. Take. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't think it'll take away sharpshooting. Um, but you guys let me know if you guys tend to do that. All right, let's finish the build. Right here. This is what you have built. Jack of all trades. Shades of LeBron, Jason Tatum, and Scottie Pippen. Uh, it don't say Larry Bird, but I mean the shades of, look at the shades of. I think you're in pretty good, pretty good shape, y'all. Pretty good shape. All right, so let's go ahead and test the build. Let's put some badges on and see what we can put together, y'all. All right, so, you know, we'll probably want to put that pack down. Punisher, put the fast twitch on. You might want to pick Limitless take off on silver. Slithery on gold. Posterizer, we're going to want. Um, rise up. Probably want some of that fearless finisher. Brace under pressure. Let's see what else we missing, y'all. You, know, you want to put a little putback boss on, a little acrobat. All right, so as you can see, 26. Um, 26 is is, is, is is pretty good. You know, if you want to be more OP, depending on how you use the build, you can add more to the finishing, but I think 26 should, should do you guys pretty good, All right? All right, 24 shooting. Put this blinders up. Definitely with this catch and shoot, we'll put dead eye. Corner special silver. Let's put this sniper all the way up. So they give us nine to play. We'll put this hot zone up silver. Mm -hmm. Probably put that lucky seven up. Depending on what mode. We don't need lucky seven. Depending on the mode, y'all. If you want to be like Larry for real, you can fade on him. Then you got you can get limitless spot up gold. Uh, if you plan to shoot from the hash, I would suggest you know you add one additional badge point here, and you could probably get that limitless spot up gold. We'll do silver, and then we could probably put green machine on. All right, so 24, 24, 25 badges is enough for shooting, y'all. To shoot really good, you know, talking like over seventy percent from the three, and over you know seventy percent from the mid range if you want to do that. All right, playmaking. We'll put this bullet passer on. We'll put hyper drive, quick first step. Let's put that glue hand silver. Then we'll put bell out on. Unpluckable. Helmets for days. So we get five more left. Mm, you can put that on tight handles if you want to do that. Or you can put tight handles on silver. Um, put that on gold glue hands. I like gold glue hands. I don't know, but if you're playing at the four, you know, how many opportunities will you be, you know, depending on where you, I mean, if you're, if you're shooting at the hash, you want that catch and shoot so you don't fumble the ball. Um, so yeah, this should work. This will work. So 21 is, is just enough. Y'all 21 is just enough, uh, to kind of spread the badges around how you want to spread them. I right, just look at defense. So defense will be a little bit tough. We want this intimidator up though. Let's put this chase down. Rim protector. Need at least one box. One rebound chaser. We want the interceptor, so it gives us four left. At least hustler bronze um, and clamps. All right. So personally, I would say you know put some more. Maybe put one more in the shooting and put the rest in defense or rebounding. Right. So that'll um, yeah. Put the rest in defense or rebounding. Then that'll make you. A little more OP, a little more OP, or you can put some more in finishing. You can kind of spread it around how you want to spread it. Uh, I may put some more in shooting. Now, you know, I wouldn't mind shooting some fades. Get my dead eye up a little bit. Just add a few more in the shooting, depending on how you play. You know, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind even putting some on difficult shots, silver, just to be real, Larry. You know what I mean? All right, that's it for this build, y'all. This is the Larry Legend build, Jack of all trades. My first Jack of all trades build. Appreciate you guys rocking with the channel. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. Comment below. Give me some of your thoughts. Give me some things that you would change. Maybe that'll help the next person that makes this particular build. Like I say, my builds are always just templates. You guys, you know, I try to make them as balanced as I can. Um, so yeah. Also, coming up. So I don't know if it, tomorrow for sure I will give you guys the 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 build tree for small forward. Um We'll also do another build, building the wild, wild video for centers, but I'm only looking for crazy, wacky builds, y'all.
So I'm only gonna be checking those out. Check that, check, check back for that build video probably tomorrow. Um, also the build tree video tomorrow. Um, I think I got another build I want to show you guys, but that'll be dropping probably this weekend. Uh, Saturday, I will be dropping my, not my first, but I'll be dropping, you know, to show you guys how I move and groove, I'll be dropping my dribble, dribble, dribble video um, on Saturday. So you guys, so, you know, you can combo up. I'm going to show you guys everything that I do to, to get open and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that on Saturday. Um, oh, yeah. And I'll be doing some more. I got a rec series coming up videos, rec series, you know, breaking down rec and just showing you guys how you guys can improve in rec because you guys know the randoms and rec is, is wild, it's straight wild now, right? So I gotta, I gotta put some videos out to help the new folks that's playing the game and you know, showing people how to do proper rec etiquette and spacing and stuff like that. All right, 2K Mechanics signing out. Catch you guys on the next video. I'm out. Peace, y'all.